Hello, I'm Wendy from 3D Worldwide. In this video, we're going to look at a technique for creating circular holes in square objects. So let's get started. Let's start by setting our unit setup. We'll go to customize here on the top uh, toolbar. We'll scroll down, unit setup. And system unit setup, display unit scale, metric, centimeters, then OK. There are several techniques for creating a circular hole in a square object. We will only be looking at one version in this video. So to start, let's go to the Create panel, Geometry, Standard Primitives, and we'll choose a box. We're just going to drag the box out down here in the Perspective Viewport. Then we'll go over to the Modify panel, and we're going to set the length to 200 centimeters the width to 200 centimeters, the height to 50 centimeters, then the length segments, we want three, width segments, three, and height segments, two. Now let's turn on edge faces in our perspective viewport. This will enable us to view all the subdivisions in the object. So to do this, we can just right click here on realistic, and then from the menu, choose Edged Faces. Let's press Alt-W on the keyboard to maximize the viewport. We're going to create our hole here in the center. But to do that, we need to convert our object into an editable poly. So let's just right click. Then from the Transform menu, Convert to, Convert to Editable Poly. Let's go over to the editable poly and we're going to choose edge. Now we're going to select this edge. Oh no, before we do that, let's turn on ignore backing. Now we'll select this edge, hold the control key down and we're going to select the edge on the other side. As you can see, we have both edges selected. We'll go over here to the edit edges and click on the small settings button here right beside the word connect. Now we want three segments and then say OK. OK, we'll carry on holding the control key down and we'll select this edge and this edge. We'll go back over to connect, three more segments, then OK. Let's go back over here and we're going to select polygons, hold the control key down on the keyboard and we're going to, just going to select all the polygons. Now let's just scroll down Edit Polygons to Inset and we'll click on the small settings box. We're going to set the amount to 2, then OK. Hold the control key down on the keyboard and select Vertex. As you can see, all our polygons have now converted into vertices. Let's scroll down Edit Geometry to Collapse. And now we're going to add a chamfire to our vertex. We'll just type in something like 25, then say OK. Let's select polygon. There we are. You can see we're starting to get that nice circular shape we're looking for. We'll go back over here to Edit Polygons, Inset, and we're going to set it to 0.5. OK, now we're going to add an Extrude. Go over here to the Extrude, the Settings box. By default, it's set to 10. We want to bring it down a little, so we're going to just type in minus... 0 0.5 then this little plus sign and then we'll add another operation which is going to be minus 24.5 now we can delete the polygon let's go back to edge mode click on this edge then here in selection click on ring 
Now we'll go back up here to Edit Edges and choose the small setting box for Connect. We want two segments. And we want to just bring them apart, say to about 95. We'll set Pinch to 95. Then OK. Press Alt W on the keyboard. We'll just zoom in here a wee bit in the front viewport. We'll go over and turn off Ignore Back Facing. Change to Polygon Mode. We're going to select all the bottom polygons and delete them. Now let's go over to the Modify list. We'll scroll down under Object Space Modifiers. And we're going to add a Symmetry Modifier. We'll go here to the Parameters. Check Z. OK, if you look in our front viewport, we can see we have created an exact copy, which is situated underneath. Now if we click on the little plus sign, Mirror, we'll be able to move our copy up. Our copy up. Let's go down to the parameters, make sure weld seam is on, and we'll bring our threshold up. Bring it up to one, two. Let's have a wee look. There we are. Now we have just welded both seams together. Okay, to carry on, we'll convert it back to an editable poly. Let's right click on the object. Convert to, convert to editable poly. There we are. We can add any smooth modifier to this, but at the moment I'm just going to put on a subdivision surface. Use NERMS subdivision. There we are. As you can see, we have a nice smooth circular hole in the center, but we also have rounded corners and edges, which isn't really what we're wanting in this video. But we can fix that by adding some more geometry. So before we start, let's turn off Use Nerm Subdivision. Select Edge Mode. We'll go to the front viewport and we're going to drag our mouse down through the right side or the edges on the right side. We'll go over to Connect. We want one segment and we want to slide the new edge right over to the far side We'll set it to something like 95. Then OK. Let's do the same again on the left side. Connect. This time it's going to be minus 95, so we'll slide it right over to the other side. Then OK. We'll do the same again down here in the left viewport. We'll select the edges on the right side, connect, minus 95, that's okay, that's fine. On the left side, connect, just slide it over to the left side, set that at 95, then okay. We can go back to the front viewport and we'll do the horizontal edges. Just going to slide that up. It'll be minus 95. OK. We'll do the same down. Connect here. And there we are. OK. Let's just scroll down. We'll get to subdivision surface again. Let's put on our used norms subdivision. There we are. Let's just have a little look. We can go back over to the subdivision surface, display, and let's just bring the itinerations up to two. There we are. Now we have a nice smooth circle in the center of our square object. Let's do a quick render. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. Enjoy.